Welcome to the video. This is Mastering Diabetes. Uh, Robbie Barbaro. You might, might know Robbie Barbaro from my interviews 10 years ago. Or I was giving Robbie a bit of platform on the social media. Um, I've asked Robbie for, you know, uh, be on my podcast. He's, he's politely uh, left me on scene. But uh, <laughs> let's have a look here. This is, this is comments and criticism. Yeah, nothing personal. You know, I'm very passionate about nutrition. And it doesn't matter if a friend, someone's a friend or a foe, if we disagree, I'm, I'm going to say, hey, man, your advice is misleading, could be dangerous, could be just, you know, could be sincere, but sincerely wrong. Let's get into it. This is masteringdiabetes.com. This is a recent article. So written here to June 30th by Cirrus and uh, June 30th, 2021. All right, so this is it's on their website, current. So this is their current belief system. We all change our beliefs. That's fine. This is a current belief. What diet, what should type 2 diabetics eat? Uh, we're going to scroll down here. I'm going to get a summary. So you got the fruit, you know, fruit. People think, oh, fruit, fruit's full of sugar, you know, and, and they're right. I, mean, I wouldn't, wouldn't say it's full of sugar. It's, most of its mac, uh, calories come from sugar, but you have to eat a lot of fruit to get enough carbohydrate calories, um, which, hey, if it's good fruit, that's easy to do because the fruit's tasty. When, it's, when, when the fruit's good, the fruit's good. I love my fruit. I'll eat freaking 70 bananas a day if I get good bananas. Um, so carbohydrates. So they're basically saying, you know, all fruits are good except dates. Avocados and durian. That's really interesting. So they're, they're saying that um, rich in good carbohydrate. So that's really it's interesting. That's it. so, and, and they say you can eat it ad libitum, which means you can eat as much as you want without worrying about portion size. I agree with that. I agree with that. You, you definitely not just can, you need to eat as much carbs as you want. All right? Um. But this, so they're saying carbs are good, right? So they're saying carbs are, what are good carbs? I mean, is it good carb, bad carb? No, there's not. Carbohydrate is four calories per gram. Sucrose, glucose, and fructose are found in donuts. They're found in bananas and mangoes. Now, the donut isn't a carbohydrate. A donut contains carbohydrate. A donut also contains fats, a lot of fat, too much fat. Oils, lard, etc. too much fat. Avocado contains fat, too much fat if you're a diabetic, which is curious because these guys say that fat causes insulin resistance, and they say sugar increases insulin sensitivity, but they have dates in here. Maybe it's a typo, maybe it's a typo, but it's not, because I've asked Robbie about it and he goes, yeah, I disagree. So even Robbie disagrees in private, but in public, he's like, let's put dates in here. So dates are good in private. Robbie eats a lot of dates. I know, I've been with him. Um, I eat a lot of dates and my insulin sensitivity is really good. But avocados, I really stay away from most most days of the year. And durian, as much as I love durian and I'm called the durian rider, it's a seasonal fruit for a reason. The fat level in durian is pretty low, but again, you know, too much fat's too much fat when it comes to insulin resistance. So I do love durian, but I eat it a few times a year because finding good quality durian is hard. But anyway, dates. Dates shouldn't be there. Dates are fantastic. All non-starchy vegetables. All starchy vegetables. Potato, potatoes. So that's interesting, because a potato glycemic index is around 90 to 100, isn't it? And refined sugar is around 65, you know? So it's interesting that, that potatoes are okay, despite having more of a sugar spike than dates. You know, calorie for calorie, kilo for kilo, or calorie for calorie, we should say. Interesting. So we know straight away that they're not using logic 100% of the time. They're using social narrative. All right, so they're saying dates. No, don't eat dates. Fruits, all fruits are good except dates. <laughs> all sweet fruits are good except dates, which makes no logic, makes no common sense. But again, these guys aren't really come from a place of logic. They come from a place of what could we sell? You know, they're using a little bit of logic, high carb, low fat, but then they're using no logic by saying carbs are bad. Carbs are good, carbs are bad. What carbs should a person with diabetes avoid? The answer here is simple, no. Literally, you should avoid simple carbs. Wow, you should avoid, oh my God. You could. You should avoid simple carbohydrate. All right, but what sort of carbohydrates are fruit? Fruit contains glucose, sucrose, and fructose. And that is simple sugars. So they're saying, no, literally, like they're, they're literally saying literally. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, can you? And it's in writing. It's in writing. Imagine if this is in court. 
So I'm the nutritional barrister over here, uh, the, the lean barrister, one of the, one of the, you know, one of ten in the world. No, literally, you should avoid simple carbs, which include all processed and artificial. Hang on, well, an artificial sweetener is a carbohydrate. What the hell? Who wrote this? Stevia is a carbohydrate. NutraSweet is a carbohydrate. What the heck? When, when did NutraSweet become a carbohydrate? How many calories in NutraSweet? You know what I mean? Like, what the heck's going on here? So fruit juice. You can eat fruit with sugar in it, but you can't have added sugar in it. You know, like, where's the logic in this, man? This is... So let, let's let's say, all right, let's get let's just try and calm down a bit during order. A deep breath. Oh, just calm down a bit, all right? Get the zen. And uh, we're going to have a glass of fruit juice, all right? Let's say the glass of fruit juice has 20 grams of sugar in it. All right, has 20 grams of sugar in it. Does it matter where the sugar comes from? No, it doesn't because it's still 20 grams of sugar. It's still going to go into your blood as 20 grams of sugar. Now, let's say that you get some apples and you juice them up. And you got two batches of apples. You've got some really tart apples with that much sugar in there. So you only get 10 grams of carbs, 10 grams of sugar per glass of tart apple juice. And you're like, oh, this isn't sweet enough. Let's add in 10 grams of sugar to bring it up to 20 grams of sugar. So it tastes all right. Now you've got 20 grams of sugar. 10 of that is in the fruit, and 10 of that you added to the fruit, so you've got 20. Now how is that 20 grams of sugar the different to 20 grams of sugar in the other glass of juice where the apples are just sweeter, naturally? You know what I mean? We're adding in sugar that the, the tree would have added in if it got more sunshine. You know, it's, like, it's just absolutely stupidity to say that fruit juice is okay, but added sugar is not. You know, it's just it's dumb, absolute dumb, dumb diddly dum dums. White how is white rice bad, but brown rice good? <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, it hits your sugar spike. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at what the glycemic index is of white rice. Glycemic index white rice versus brown rice now it's going to vary all the time based on how long you cook it and what sort of rice it is okay so white rice is 70 and it varies all the time let's go into the images and see what people say you know 66 55 93 70 87 calories you know it, it just varies all the time you know end of the day depends what google images depends what website depends what instagram thing you, you look at you know like Again, calories and calories are the same, carbs, carbs. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, this is the confusion. So if you, imagine if you're being coached by these guys. Imagine if you're being coached by these guys, and you're like, you can eat brown rice, but not white rice. So you go to a restaurant, and someone says, like, are you eating, are you eating brown rice, but any white? No, 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 brown rice, white rice has got more sugar in it. Oh, but the calories are exactly the same. Oh, but, but, but the white rice hits your sugar, you hits your bloodstream too quick. Oh, but does that even matter? Yeah, because it creates more insulin. But isn't that insulin resistance? And eating low fat, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but 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 I don't know. I don't know. Stop stop hounding me. <laughs> so it's just like far out. And here's where they get it right. We recommend a low fat diet because excess dietary fat is the primary cause of insulin resistance. Yes, they got it right. The underlying condition that causes diabetes. Yes, type two diabetes. Um, now this doesn't mean you can should remove all fat from your diet, which is practically impo is actually impossible. No, it's not impossible to eat no fat diet you could just live on a carbohydrate a product and a protein product and you're getting to get no fat so instead focus on limiting it because i high fat food i'm yawning at the contradictions here this is you know, it's just boring these contradictions taking me for making me go to sleep this is what, when i want to go to sleep at night when i wake up in the morning i'm like get hyped up and then when i well, at the end of the day i'm thinking man this contradiction is just so so predictable so predict, it's like watching a predictable movie. It's like, okay, we've seen this before. Instead of focusing on limiting your consumption of high-fat foods, that's correct. It's correct. Um, yeah, what are good fats to, for type 2 diabetes to eat? Foods like avocado, dates. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at this. Foods like dates are all dense with healthy fats. <laughs> People pay these guys for coaching. Uh, <laughs> um, fat. Uh, oh, here we go. I'm, I can't even type properly. I'm just like, what the heck? I'm typing one keyboard, uh, one finger on the keyboard. The other is chicken picking on the 
fat content dates would we'll do a typo it still will work you know like the fat content of dates all right so let's go let's go 100 grams of dates is you know 0.4 gram medjool 0.2 gram all right so you got you got two grams per kilo all right two grams per kilo so you get it's about three thousand calories give or take you know calories so about 2800 calories per kilo give or take in the water content and these guys are saying dates are all dense with healthy fats ladies and gentlemen your honor i deem mastering diabetes as not a good <laughs> witness <laughs> i've been called not a good witness before now i understand why because my story didn't add up it didn't match up um this, this story doesn't match up it's hilarious you know eating in moderation these foods won't increase your insulin resistance yes they will nuts and what does moderation even mean what does that what does moderation even mean i recommend keep your fat under 10 grams a day uh, if you want your best insulin sensitivity keep your keep your fat under 10 grams a day and keep your sweet fruit your rice your white rice your brown rice your sugar your glucose drinks keep those in unlimited quantities all right and if you're a type 1 diabetic if you're a type 2 diabetic you will know. You know. If you're testing your sugars, you'll be like, damn, Duran Rider was right. Mastering Diabetes crew was wrong. They think that dates, <laughs> they think that dates are dense with healthy fats. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. All right. And, and you know, they think sugar causes diabetes. They think sugar causes insulin resistance because all these things on this, this list here or on the list because they think that it causes insulin resistance all right so we go over here added sugars they think glucose causes insulin resistance insulin resistance from glucose guys wow interesting In insulin resistance from brown rice syrup okay wow insulin resistance from uh, splendor gee wow guys really i mean i don't recommend consuming splendor you know it's a freaking it's a waste product you know it belongs nowhere on the planet belongs sitting out of space because you wouldn't want to dump it in the ocean because the fish don't deserve splendor but these guys are putting splendor in there with glucose glucose so if you're a, a diabetic having a hypo don't give them some jelly beans you know wait a couple of hours until you can get some fresh fruit because you wouldn't want to give them a date wouldn't want to give them you know wouldn't want god heavens forbid heaven heaven forbid you wouldn't want to give a diabetic having a hypo some jelly beans or a glucose drink. You wouldn't want to do that. Not at all. You would never want to do that because that would be a red light thing and that would give them more diabetes situation. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is reality. Mastering diabetes. These guys, man, they think dates are full of fat. They think dates cause insulin resistance. They think dates cause diabetes. They think sugar cause diabetes. <laughs> That's like saying cars cause roads. Cars cause highways. Oh my God. Where do we even... I, I don't know what to say now. Dates are fatty. Wow. Dates are fatty. Damn.